Now, I trust that you pray for just a little while this morning. I, uh, as I mentioned to you, I haven't been concentrating much in the Word. I, I've been in a lot of pain, and I'm still... But I know God can do anything. But from 1 Corinthians in chapter uh, 1 and 27 says, God has chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise, to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And I've thought about that, and I thought how that there's many times. Thank you. I ain't prayed you'd have. <laughs> well, I will. Our Father, I thank you, Lord, for your word. I pray, our Master, that we'll be able to present it in the way that you lead me to do it. Because, Lord, I can't do nothing on my own. But God, with the power of demonstration of the Holy Spirit, will be able to preach for you a little while this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I thought how that many times God has taken little things and made something big out of them. Uh, little churches, you take this, according to nature, it, this is just a small church. But you see, when you got the real thing in your hand or... Uh, you got the power of God. God can change things. Uh, he can get things accomplished. Uh, I read in the Word across the Bible uh, where that God had took something small and made something big out of it or done something big. Uh, in the book of Judges, we see where Samson, uh, one time, he took uh, just a, a jawbone of an ass and, and slew a thousand. You think about that. Who a, slew a thousand people with that because God was in the arrangements of things. And then we can go on, and especially with Elijah, how that it, it, during Elijah's time when he was, or uh, not Elijah, yeah, Elijah, when he was uh, going to King Ahab, how that the widow woman sustained him with just uh, a handful of meal and just a little oil and the cruise for over three years there, just about. Uh, she took care of him, and, and so God is still doing things like that today uh, by taking something small and being able to make something big out of it. He's still God. He's still got all power in heaven and earth, and he's still got the plan of salvation. Paul said in being made perfect, he became the author of our salvation. He's the author of it. Uh, I want you to know that today. And, and when he was uh, out there with the disciples and, and they only had five loaves and two fishes, he's able to feed over 5,000 people uh, with that. Why? Because, well, first of all, we know that he was the Son of God and that he had all power. Uh, but, brother, because of the power of God... Uh, uh, many a time something small uh, can come big. And so then this morning uh, I'd like to just for a little while to uh, testify this morning and, and tell you that I don't feel like that I deserve to be your pastor. Uh, Seem like lately I haven't been able to uh, do what I would like to do, but I'm thankful uh, that you still have confidence in me and I trust uh, by the will of God I can do better here in the future that I'll be able to uh, walk these streets. I want to visit these homes again and walk to them and invite people to church and tell them that there's a God that still saves people. God's still doing that today. He's still God Almighty. He's still uh, got all power. He still blesses uh, His people. He's, he'll keep you. He's able to keep that which is committed uh, unto Him against that day. And so then, uh, uh, my friend, He still takes small things. Uh, I remember whenever uh, uh, Jesse told David uh, uh, to go down and check on his brethren. And you know the story. I won't have to tell you the whole story about uh, David and Goliath, but I want you to know this uh, uh, again, how, how just uh, a small stone, uh, uh, brother, with the power of God, uh, uh, knocked down a man that was called a giant, uh, 
uh, that would scare the uh, army of Israel to death. Uh, and yet with the power of God, uh, uh, just a lad about 14 years old, uh, uh, brother took care of that. Uh, uh, God's still that kind of God today. Uh, he can still take uh, a little Christian with the power of God uh, and pray and things happen. Uh, I'm made to believe today. Uh, uh, right now across our nation, uh, uh, the small churches, uh, uh, the people that are praying, uh, uh, God bless our country. Uh, is what's keeping our country together today. Uh, I don't know what all uh, a lot will happen before it's all over with, uh, uh, but I know this much. Uh, uh, with Jesus in your life, uh, uh, you can't go wrong. Uh, uh, you say, preacher, I might die. Uh, what a blessing it is, uh, uh, my friend, to uh, hear uh, uh, the Lord say, well done, uh, and come on in. Uh, and I'm not indicating uh, uh, that we all need to go out uh, and to uh, die. Uh, uh, Jesus didn't want to die uh, uh, but he sacrificed his life. Uh, he prayed three times uh, uh, Father if there's any other way uh, uh, let this cup pass by uh, uh, but the thing about it was uh, uh, when he well known there was no other way uh, he was still Frank uh, willing to lay down his life uh, uh, for Jim Baldwin uh, uh, for Taylor Cantrell uh, uh, for Frank Ball uh, and for the rest of us here today uh, he's willing to lay it down uh, uh, brother there's power in the blood uh, uh, they sing that old song uh, I don't know my friend uh, how the world can even get by uh, I listen to him talk every morning uh, uh, up to where I go and eat breakfast at uh, uh, when I'm able to get up there uh, and I hear him sometimes on Monday uh, uh, talk about being in church on Sunday uh, uh, but I listen to them uh, and their language that they talk uh, and the things they say uh, I know they don't know the power of God uh, uh, my friend if you even think wrong uh, uh, when you're saved and born again uh, uh, you'll tell God uh, that you're sorry uh, uh, you might as well God already knows that anyway uh, and so this morning uh, a little as much uh, if God's in it uh, I want you to know that and I want you to know that he still got the power, the same power that he ever had. You say, preacher, you've said that a few times. I'm going to keep on saying it. God still got all power in heaven and earth. He's got the only plan, my friend. Neither is there salvation in any other. No other name given amongst men whereby they must be saved than by Jesus. He, he's, he's the only one. He's got the only plan. I'm glad to know today that he still forgives. That he still forgives every sin. Whether you consider it a big sin, I think man's what characterizes sin as big or little. Sin's transgression, God's law, whether it's big or little, but he still forgives every sin. I'm going to let you out early today. I I don't have a whole lot on my mind, and this is all that's coming to me. But I want us to come back tonight praying. I want us throughout the day just remember that if we've got God in our life, we can get things accomplished for Him. Uh, God knows what we stand in need of. And uh, you say, well, uh, we're going to don't want to uh, do certain things uh, we can use that guy or we can use that woman. Uh, let me tell you something. I'd rather have what I've got here and know that I can call on you to pray and get an answer from God is to have a stadium so big and nobody knows Jesus. That nobody knows Jesus. Now I'm sure, no doubt, probably this big church out here uh, where they have to have a cop to, to direct their traffic. There's no doubt some people there that are Christian people. But there's some people that I know that goes there that has the slightest idea of what being born again is all about. And I'm glad to know that I'm saved and that you're saved this morning. Let's bow our heads for a moment. Our Heavenly Father... I feel, Lord, I've done a very poor job for you, but 
I felt the Spirit on what I preach, so I, I won't take it back. I pray, God, as each one of us leaves here, our fathers, we inventory our life just for a moment before we leave. If any feels like they need to pray, prayers in order anytime, in any place. If anybody feels they need to pray, uh, God, just for a few moments as we tarry here, and they want to come to the altar, Lord, we'll certainly let them do that. There's times, Lord, that I have to bow my heads and say, Lord, I'm sorry. And I'd rather do that, our Father, all my life and make it to heaven and not do it and miss heaven. So God, just for a little bit, we're going to tarry in case anybody wants to pray for any reason. In Jesus' name, amen.